so hello everyone in this video we are going to see the interview experience it is of TCS ninja interview experience so this interview experience is of a student who is from IT branch so first of all we will see uh, what all were the questions that were asked to him and how he has answered if and uh, also we will look into this video that uh, how much it is different from the computer science so basically there is no much difference in the interview questions that are asked to the IT student and uh, also it is very similar to computer science student but uh, also if you are from other branch you can see it because uh, maybe you can get uh, some course and computer science questions that were asked to him so let's move on with the video now so the first question that was asked is mention data structures and SQL so data structure is a very important topic as far as uh, uh, TCS Ninja interview is concerned so you must prepare what uh, what are the different data structures you should have basic knowledge of it and how are the operations performed on each data structures also you should have basic understanding of uh, SQL and database management system and uh, they, there might be a chances that they can ask you some to uh, run some queries or uh, they, they will give you some table or uh, something and they will ask that uh, you should uh, run a query on this and what will be the output you have to say that so you should prepare well data structures and dbms they are very important so let's see the next question is uh, so the next question is linear and non-linear data structure uh, in the previous videos also we have seen many a times that whether you are from a core computer science uh, branch or whether you are from any circuit circuital branch or any other branches uh, the, this question is so you should know what is a linear and what is a non-linear data structure so let's move on to the next question now what is binary tree and what is the need of it of it so binary tree also as you know by, there are different types of trees binary tree binary source tree so all these the questions that we are currently seeing are related to data structures so as you can see the student is from IT so definitely I told as I told that he must have attended the data structure subjects uh, in his curriculum so there will be questions from data structures right let's see the next question why do we need BST okay so this is for a question from binary search tree what is the need for binary search tree as we know that binary search tree helps us uh, in storing the data in a fixed uh, order that is uh, smaller elements will be at one side and the elements which are greater will be on the other side so you can answer accordingly so explain all the traversals though they, they, so there are basically different traversals that are that can be performed on trees such as uh, pre-order traversals post-order traversals in-order traversal so all these traversals you should know also what they can do is they can give you a sample tree and they can ask you to perform a specific uh, traversal that is they can ask you that perform post-order traversal on this tree so what you will do in that case first of all you will uh, print the left side of the left subtree of the tree and then the right subtree and then you will print the root and in similar way they can also ask to uh, to write the traversal of all the all the three traversals of the tree so you should know all these things so given a tree and told to write down all traversals so i just said this question question to you so basically if they are asking you traversals so there is a very high possibility that they will ask you to write down the traversal of a sample tree uh, so the next question is what is sql so as we all know a structured query language they might give you a query also and ask something upon it what are use and materialized use so uh, another of question from database management system can we do indexing on views so you have to answer accordingly how would you tune a SQL query? So all these are basically questions from MySQL and uh, database management system. How to create a trigger? So what is the difference between a function and a procedure? Question from OOPS. What is uh, group by and where clause? So these were all the technical questions that were asked to this student. So uh, if you are also going to appear for uh, TCS Ninja exam and uh, you are you are not well prepared for these questions if you don't know already the answer of these questions i would suggest that uh, you should go and search it on the internet and al also uh, write it down somewhere so that uh, uh, you will get it very easily in while giving the interview if you encounter one of these questions so the next round is managerial round let's see the questions that are asked in managerial round 
so about third year project and fourth year project idea okay so most of the students who are giving this uh, interview will be from fourth year that is their final semester or uh, seventh semester so they will ask you about your projects uh, they will ask the current projects also but also they can ask you the projects that you have done previously that is in your third year or second year or what you have done extras apart from your curricular uh, curriculum so you should always have something to say or speak at that time uh, so why you have chosen your it field so you should answer accordingly because you sh you can say that i have my own interest i feel uh, exploring with new technology uh, i feel this uh, field is very challenging so this interests me so you can answer in accordingly how much day you will need to learn python and cpp okay so basically this is a very wide question uh, if you see so you should not say like i can take two days five days or ten days so basically there is no specific uh, uh, time period in which you can learn a complete language right so they uh, the languages are quite wide and there are so many topics that you will learn eventually so what you should say is i can learn the basics of this language in a specific time frame and according to time when i learn more I eventually uh, with practice I will gain more knowledge upon this so what according to you is quality required to be a CEO so you should uh, mention different qualities of CEO these are managerial questions all these questions are asked to check how you will uh, behave in a specific condition so the next question is do you have any questions for me mostly in all the three rounds that is tr mr and hr all of them will ask you do you have any questions for us what you should reply is uh, at least i would suggest that prepare any one questions for each so that you don't uh, answer no for this question that is if you say no that i don't have any questions this might feel a little empty and uh, they might feel that you are not much interested or uh, but if in case if you ask any questions to them also so they will also feel interested and they will explain you something so it is always better to ask some question for example for t uh, in tr round you can ask like uh, what are the technologies that i have to work upon if i get selected right so this shows that you are positive for uh, for your selection so this gives a uh, positive impact on the interview so let's see what is the next round so the next round is hr round so basically uh, usually the HR round in HR round uh, it is kept at last only so that the basic questions regarding HR round will be asked first of all is TR only in most of the cases but it is not fixed that first first will be TR only or there is no specific order for each interview so what I would suggest is don't uh, have this preconceived notion that there is a fixed order of interview rounds so let's see the questions that were asked in the HR round can you comfortable in a can you be comfortable in a new place or reallocation so the answer for this question for, should always be yes there is no option to you you should never say no because if you say no there might be a possibility that the interviewer might reject you because they are uh, interviewing for a position of a assistant software engineer trainee and this position requires a reallocation and uh, there is not it is not fixed although you will get chances to select your own positions but at time you will be required to move to different places so you should definitely ne never say no because if you say so you might get rejected in the interview ask about food related at new places so many times the hr is quite friendly and they ask such kinds of question uh, to just see how is your conversational skills and uh, what are your interests so a situation handling question was asked basically a situation and the question is uh, something in which uh, you are given a situation and they will ask you how you will react in that situation so many a times these uh, questions are also asked so that's all for this interview experience if you like this interview experience subscribe to the channel because i am making a complete playlist of interview experiences of different companies and from for a student of different branches like computer science electrical civil mechanical electronics and many more and if you want the interview experience of any other company or any other branch you can always comment down in the comment section i will make a video on that also so if you want to see more such videos you can access the playlist section in my channel and uh, finally all the best for your interview i'm sure you will definitely going to make this role so thank you